Hello guys, you've Raj here from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of the Astra theme for WordPress and a bunch of other amazing WordPress products. So I wanted to make a quick video explaining to you, telling you about a recent update we've made to one of our flagship products, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. And what we've done in this recent update is made it compatible with WPML 4.4. Now, just to set the record straight, all our products are already compatible with WPML. The only change we made to UAE was made it compatible with WPML 4.4. The version number 4.4 is really important to note because in WPML 4.4, the team behind WPML made a small change on how they would store translations in their product. That's why we had to make some changes to our product to make it completely compatible with WPML. And I'm happy to tell you that Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor or UAE is completely compatible with WPML 4.4. Now, technically, we can end the video right here. I've already told you everything I wanted to tell you, but for people who are not familiar with WPML or people who are not familiar with how WPML works with Elementor or maybe Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, and I've also recorded a small demonstration where I'll go through the process, just show you a simple page on how you can translate your pages created with Elementor and UA and how it will appear in the front end. So let's head to my computer and I'll give you a quick demonstration on how UA, WPML and Elementor can work together and are fully compatible. All right, guys, we're inside the magical world of WordPress, Elementor, UAE, and WPML. All the plugins have been installed, including WPML, and I've also taken the liberty of configuring the plugin uh, so that the language is added and just the basic setup is done. And I also added the language switcher to the home page, or I'd say the menu of my website. And just to show you how it works, is I've added Hindi and Korean as two languages on my website. And I've opened this page specifically uh, to highlight an important fact, which is that it's uh, or I'd say when you are trying this on your own website, one thing that you should be aware of is that WPML has introduced uh, one new advanced translation editor, which we'll be taking a look at as we progress through the video. But uh, I wanted to highlight this because uh, the new update with uh, WPML 4.4, which is the compatibility thing that we were talking about or the entire video is based on, is uh, based on the advanced uh, translation editor as well. So make sure that this is enabled, otherwise you see or you'll see the old editor in place. So with that, let's uh, open up a page in Elementor with UA and I'll quickly set it up and show you what we are going to do or what we're going to translate on our website. All right, guys, this is a simple page that we'll be working with. As I said, I've already added the language switcher menu uh, on a live page. This will act as a drop down menu. And just to keep this demonstration as simple as possible, what I've done is add a heading and a paragraph block from Elementor, not UA. But I've added this table from Ultimate Add-ons from Elementor or UA for short. The table block or table widget is here right here. I just added one single row so that I can show you the process. As I said, this is just a compatibility update. And if you're already familiar with how Elementor works or UAE works, then uh, you don't need to understand the process. This is just for people who are figuring this out or just learning or watching this for the first time. I just wanted to have a quick demonstration. So I've already updated this post or published this post. So uh, all these strings, you'll have the option of customizing once we open up the translation editor. So let's head back to WordPress's admin area and the page uh, options. Then we'll show you or I'll show you how it appears and do you need to do any special things before you start actually make uh, changes or adding the translations on your website. So let's go inside and I'll see you there. So inside the pages section on your website or my website, I'm seeing this page right here. This is a brand new install. So there's just a couple of pages, but on your side, this might be a little bit different. And coming to this area, this is where you should pay some attention. Now, as I mentioned, uh, I already configured uh, WPML on my website and the default language that I said was English. That's why you see English right here. But I also have added two different languages, which is Hindi and Korean. So let's say, for example, I want to translate a particular page, which is this one or the demonstration about this one. I will need to add the plus icon or a plus button right here, link, whatever, to add that respective language or the translation for that respective language here. Now, what that means is that I have to add the language translation for Hindi as well as Korean separately. So let's uh, take an example that I want to translate or make a translation for the Hindi language for this particular page. So I'll click this plus icon or plus button and then I'll reach the advanced translation editor where we make or we'll make the actual uh, or where we'll make the actual translation. So let's check it out how it looks. So once you're on this page, you will also see this kind of offer, which you can ignore or you can check out depending on what your needs are. I'll just close this for now. 
And this is the actual translation page. So just keeping that page in reference, I already have it open right here. We have the heading block, we have uh, the uh, paragraph block, and also have the table with six different fields, or I'd say uh, two rows and three columns, and a total of six different fields. So let's go back to the translation section. So we have all these uh, labels right here, which we can customize or which we can add the translations for. Now, technically, if you use the credits or the paid version of WPML or paid version, I mean, what I mean to say is if you use the automatic translation service by WPML, then you can purchase some credits and then have WPML convert or translate this for you. And that is uh, definitely possible. What, so what you need to do right now, if you want to make this translation, if you're following along, you need to select the respective field and then make the translation or add the translated copy right here. So what I'm gonna do, I am not gonna show you the entire process, it's gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna select each of these fields, add the Hindi translation here, save the complete page, and then we'll open up the page on, a li on the live website or as a user, and I'm gonna show you how the translation version looks like. And that will show you that, okay, WPML and UA go hand in hand together, work pretty well with the 4.4 update. So let's take up, or I'll say, I'll pause the video for a second, make the translations and we'll come back and see the page live. So I just want to take a second and show you how the translated version looks like once you've saved your changes with translation. Once you click, uh, as I mentioned, you have to, the option of uh, adding the translation right here. And then once you want to commit that change, you just have to click this button right here, which will save this or save the translation to this section. And you'll be able to see the translated section side by side with the original strings. Once you've made all the changes or translated all the fields, you just have to click the complete icon or a complete button and this will be saved. And once we've done that, we'll look at the page as a user and see the translation version of the page as well. So let's do that and I'll show you the page in the front end after this, I've saved the page. Okay guys, I just saved the page and I was automatically redirected to the pages section and just wanted to highlight one more important thing that you need to keep in mind that if you just save your changes or save your translations, you might have to wait a few minutes before checking them out on the live website. As you can see this icon right here, it's uh, the waiting icon, I'd say, the simplest way I can call it. And it says processing the translation, which could take a few minutes. So we might have to wait a few minutes before I can show you the actual demonstration. So let's wait for this and I'll pause the video so that you don't have to wait with me and then I'll show you the final translated page on your site. Okay guys, so with the magic of video editing, a few minutes have passed and I've opened up the page on my live website or the actual page that a user would see. And this is the page that we already saw, the Elementor uh, view, I hope you already remember. Just a simple uh, heading that was from Elementor, not from UAE, but also this uh, description or the paragraph, which was also from Elementor, but this table was added by UAE. Uh, and just to give a simple example, this is how uh, I've set this up, or I have, I've set up uh, my WPML version that uh, the actual button for translation is on the menu. And uh, on your website, you might uh, configure it differently or you might have set it up differently. So don't uh, expect to see uh, this exactly in the same position if you haven't set it up uh, correctly. Now, one more thing to remember is that you might notice that only the Hindi version or Hindi language is showing up. And in the backend, if I just go back and show you, I set up the Hindi and the Korean translations both on the website. Now this is happening because I haven't added a Korean translation on this page. If I do, then I'll see both these options right here. So again, only the pages or only the languages that you've added on a particular page will show up as the translated versions. So let's translate this page quickly and I'll show you that how compatible is UAE and WPML. So we'll go and click the Hindi version and in just a second, everything is translated on the page. And these uh, strings that are coming up right here are exactly the uh, same strings that I added as a translation in the backend. Also, the uh, text in the table is completely coming from the translation. And even some of the fields right here, uh, or say the admin bar is also translated. That's also fun. Uh, maybe you, you understand this and you may, maybe you don't but it's uh, Hindi is my native language, so I definitely understand it. But again, it's this. Uh, the point of the video is not to just show off the language. The point is that, okay, any language that you add right here in the backend can be translated very easily with WPML using, or even while using Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, any of the widgets that Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor provides. So with it, you can create any kind of websites or serve variety of visitors around the globe. So I hope this video was helpful. If you learned something new, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Also make sure to uh, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you have any questions about this or any of the process or questions about our product, what the compatibility is, then make sure to leave in the comments. We reply to every single one. You were listening to watching Yuvraj from Brainstorm Force and I'll catch you in the next video really soon. Till then, take care and stay safe.